Chapter 5 Finding True Love Like most little girls, I fantasized about being Cinderella and being swept away by a handsome prince who lived in a beautiful castle. I started dreaming about it in the second grade. In fact, the first few weeks of Mrs. Harp's class, I sat in the back of the room to check out all the boys. It wasn't long before I selected a boy who I deemed worthy of my attention. Without knowing it, he passed my juvenile test. But at seven years old, my requirements weren't very complicated. The winner would have dark hair, be nice, and smile at me often. Oh yeah, and he couldn't be stinky. <laughs> the next year, I had two boyfriends. Whoever was friendlier to me on any given day was my favorite. Zoning in and out of math class, I would practice writing my first name followed by their last name, trying to decide which one looked and sounded better if we got married. 